Sometimes we can wake up from a dream and, and feel so guilty. We can sometimes wake up from a dream and think like, goodness gracious, that must be a sin. Like that's, that's gotta be, that's gotta be bad. My name is Father Mike, <laughs> nope, that's not how we'd start. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz and this is Essential Presents. Now, we can acknowledge this, we can acknowledge that there are some things that pop in our minds, whether we're awake or asleep, that are unbidden, that, um, yeah, can be pretty dark. Intrusive thoughts, right? Intrusive thoughts can be pretty dark. And sometimes those intrusive thoughts happen when we're sleeping. Now, a thing to know about intrusive thoughts is, is unless I cooperate with them, or unless I like indulge them essentially, they're not gonna be sins. Why? Because here's what we know about sin. We, what we know about sin is, I keep giving this definition and I apologize, but I don't apologize because I really like this definition. Sin is not a mistake, sin is not an accident. Sin is not just something like, you know, dark that comes through our minds. Sin is when we say, God, I know what you want. I don't care. I want what I want. And so there's three aspects of every sin, right? There's the, the action itself or the object chosen, like the thing itself, like what would be the sin? Secondly is our, our knowledge. Like I know this is a sin. And thirdly, our consent of the will. Like I'm freely going to choose to do this anyways. And so when it comes to sins, they're not mistakes, right? They're not accidents. Sins have to be a thing like, okay, no, this is bad, right? I know it's bad and I freely choose to do it anyway. I don't know about you, but I've never experienced a dream in which I was free. In fact, that's kind of the nature of dreams. They're, you say like there are subconscious or they are, are our unconscious thought. There, <laughs> there are minds, but not our minds in a free place, right? We can't freely choose in our dreams. And also in some ways we can't fully know. I mean, I know this because if it was true that we could do this, I would fly in every one of my dreams. Time to go to sleep and go fly around the world, but we can't because we're not free in our dreams. And if I'm not free in my dreams, then I'm not free to actually choose a thing, which means I'm not capable of sinning. So here's the thing. We are not capable of sinning in our dreams. Now, at the same time, you might be disturbed by your dream. You might think, how could that thought come into my brain? And then we get to stop and ask the question, okay, what was I doing before I went to sleep? During my waking hours, when I was a conscious, when I, when I had free will, what was I exposing my brain to? What was I exposing my mind to? And you might answer like, no, nothing, just normal stuff. Like nothing dark, nothing potentially evil, nothing that was even a near occasion of sin. In that case, okay, great. So you're not culpable, you're not responsible in any, in any way for this. But it could be like, oh yeah, I found myself, I was looking at this, I was watching this, I was listening to this, I was pondering all these kind of things that might be a little bit darker. In which case, like that would make sense. Now, the dream itself was it wouldn't be the sin, but the dream might reveal that, okay, during my waking hours, I'm not always making the best choices. During the waking hours, I'm not always taking into my heart and into my mind things that are uplifting. And yet, that's our call, right? That's the, that's the time when we're awake that we actually can use our intellect. That's when we actually can use our will and we can say, okay, God, what do I want to form my mind with? What do I want to fill my heart with? One of our priests, Father Ben, his mom would always say, garbage in, garbage out. <laughs> and that one of those skins says, yeah, that makes sense. Like if I take garbage in, I think she meant it physically. I think she was a gym teacher. That's true with physically. It's also true mentally. It's also true spiritually. If I expose myself to garbage, then it makes sense that like what I find inside my heart is garbage. But if I expose myself to the true, the good, the beautiful, whatever is excellent, whatever is lovely, whatever is pure, like all good things we're surrounded by, then in my dreams, what I'm going to find is those things. Now, at the same time, we're broken, right? And so, yes, intrusive thoughts are going to happen whether we're awake or we're asleep. But unless we consent to them and indulge them, they're not a sin. So, be at peace. <laughs> you say, but it's so dark. Well, then just call upon the Lord. In fact, I remember hearing this, this really good piece of advice. Before you go to sleep, simply pray, God, be with me as I sleep. That's one of the prayers that I was taught as a kid. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep right. But also there's the Our Father. There's also this prayer called the St. Michael, the Archangel prayer, which can be just an incredible opportunity to say, okay, actually, St. Michael, through your, your intercession, may God rebuke the evil one and may I be protected all through the night. Regardless, dreams are not sins. For all this here to Sense Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless.